Hello, it's Gem Games here once again, and in this video we're going to create this footstep system. So when we move, the footsteps will play, and when we run, they will play even louder. So yeah, let's get started. So what you want to do first is click the link in the description that takes you to my Google Drive and you want to download this footsteps folder. After that, you want to go to the blueprints and you want to right click and create a new folder called sound effects. Then let's open it and let's create a new folder called footsteps. And let's open it and here we want to Copy all the footstep sounds that we just downloaded. Okay, after that, we want to select the generic one, two, and three, and four. So let's select the first, control pressed, and select all. Let's right click and let's create single queue. Okay. And this is called as we footstep generic one queue. It can be called like that. Okay. So Let's open it. Here, what we want to do is we want to add a few things here because now it is like this. It is already working, but we want to add some uh, randomness to this. Even more randomness, I mean. So what we want to do first is we want to add a modulator. And we want to set here some values. Pitch minimum 0.9, pitch max 1.1, volume minimum, let's make it like 0.75 and max one. Okay, now let's connect it to here. Let's see. Okay. One more thing that we want to do, we want to add a attenuation. Let's also connect it to here. Let's select all these and press Q to align. And let's click on this. And we want to override attenuation. Now, what we want to do, we want to change this attenuation function to logarithmic and in radius let's make it like 300 and fall off distance like 1500 something like that okay so inside of this radius the sound will always play with the full volume and it will basically get quieter the closer you get to this value okay and yeah that's all for here now so let's save let's close so what we want to do next is we want to go back to the blueprints and we want to go to our animations we want to open for example the walk forward animation and here we have this camera shakes notifies we could use this same notifies, but I will create like uh, new ones for the footsteps. So let's add a new notify track. So now we have one and two. And here on two, on the exactly same position, let's right click and add notify. And let's add a new. Actually, we have here L foot plant. Let's actually use these ones. Okay, first let's add the L food plant. Now let's go to the... Why is this lagging so much? Okay, I got it working. So let's go to the other notify and let's right click and add a skeleton notify, L food plant, like this, to the same position. Now, for the other animations, let's do the same thing. So walk back, 
let's go to the first notify and this is right leg let's zoom in a little bit let's add another track right click and notify skeleton notify our food plant here on the other notify let's click let's add a skeleton notify l food plant now walk left do the same thing let's add a track this is right uh sorry left feet on the ground so let's right click at notify skeleton notify l food plant here let's add the r food plant okay walk r same thing this is left foot you can see which foot is on the ground let's add a track let's right click add notify skeleton notify r foot plant also here let's add a notify skeleton notify l foot plant now sprint forward first one is left so let's add first the track let's right click and notify l food plant here l to notify r food plant uh, sprint forward left same thing so this is left foot uh, let's add the track right click notify skill to notify L foot plant R foot plant and sprint forward right let's do the same thing this is left leg so actually we have that uh, track first left leg so notify skill to notify L foot plant in here this is right foot plant so R plant okay now that we have added all of those let's actually save all we can close this animation so what we want to do next is we want to open the app player and we want to go to the uh, notify graph actually we are here already so what do we want to do here we want to come down here we want to right click and search for a notify a event anim notify l food plant and also notify event anim notify r food plant we need both of these okay next what we want to do is we want to create a new function this will be called get put it on round or something like that okay and what we want to do here we want to add three inputs the first one will be called socket name and it will be type name second one will be called speed how do you write it trace hold like that and it will be type float and the third one will be called land and it will be type boolean okay we are not going to use all of these in this video but yeah uh, now what we want to do is we want to come here and we want to right click and search for a line trace by channel and we want to connect from here leave some space now what we want to do we want to get our player reference and we want to 
get socket location get socket location mesh so this one so we want to get our mesh and we want to get socket location okay and actually let's move this even further and now the socket name we want to get from this and we want to search for a socket name which is this input here okay now from here we want to add and we also want to subtract like this and the, this first one this add one we want to connect to the start and this subtract to the end what we want to add is we want to add like 10 units and we want to subtract 40 units so it will start a trace 10 units over our feet and end it 40 units under like that okay now we can turn this draw debug type for duration so we can actually see what is happening okay and the next thing that we want to do is we want to promote this out hit to a variable and we want to call this put step it and we want to split it from here and then we want to add a branch so b and left click and we want to check if we got a blocking hit so if we basically hit something and after that what we want to do we want to create another function this will be called play put step sound I did a little mistake here. So like this. And we want to add a input here. This will be called location and it will be type vector. Let's compile and save and let's go back to the get foot hit on ground. Now we want to just call this function on true. Connect the location to the location like that. Compile and save. Now we can open the play full step sound. Here we want to right click and we want to play sound at a location. Let's connect it to here. Let's open this and let's connect the location to the location, of course. And the sound, let's select our put step generic one Q sound Q, not T sound waves, this one. Okay, and what else we want to do is from the volume multiplier, we want to map range clamped. And here we want to get our velocity length xy and connect it to the value. And now we want to map this so on zero, when our speed is zero, we want our value to be 0.1. So our feet, footsteps will always play, or we can always hear them. And on B, on 500, which is our max running speed, we want to set it to one. So it will scale by the, oh, sorry, one. So it will scale by the speed. Let's compile and let's save. And now let's go back to the notify graph. And here on anim notify l foot plant, what we want to do is we want to get this get foot hit on ground, connect it. And socket name will be foot underscore l. And here we want to also get it. And this will be, of course, called foot underscore r. Okay. Now, when we compile, we save all and we go to play. And 
and we move. When we go slowly, when we run, you can see it is all working pretty nicely. We might have some little problems with uh, uh, when the anima animations are blending, but we will fix that on the next episode. So yeah, I actually think that was all for this video. If you like what you saw, please click the like button and subscribe for more. And yeah, hope you have a great day and see you on the next one. Bye.